Coach, the last time we talked, you weren't happy about your club start. Were you happy about the club start tonight? Very, very much. We, uh, we had some good meetings with the leadership group and changed some things up um, off ice. And then even on ice, we, uh, we had a little, uh, little skate and uh, uh, it was the best first period we played in a long time, obviously. Yeah, it took Flint, I think, 15 and a half minutes to get their first shot. But the game was still tight. Yeah. Um, and the guys pulled away in the third. How do you ensure that the guys don't get frustrated in that tight game? Yeah, it's you know they got good uh, good goaltending. They they play a, a a good structured game. So even you know through their their uh, their losses here, they're not they don't give up very much. Um, their penalty kill is good. So um, you know we just gotta keep fighting away and, and getting pucks to the net and have people there and and uh, eventually our skill skill took over there. Uh, Noah said earlier that he still thinks the team has another net level to yeah. get and can still improve. What are your yeah. thoughts? Yeah, for sure. Always. And, and, and when we, if we ever get satisfied, we're in trouble, right? If we stop learning as a coach or, or, or as players and, and, uh, feel that we, we don't have anything left, we're in trouble. So it's early. And, uh, like I've said from day one, we just try to get better here every day. You've coached a lot of hockey. Does Liam Greentree deserve an invite to the, National Junior Camp for yeah, I, I would I would think so. I mean, he's uh, like he said, he's 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 trying away from the puck, and, and he knows that those are the things that, and he's he's really bought in, and and we go over a lot of video uh, together with his defensive stuff, not his offense. I want him to be be who he is in the offensive zone with the puck and and where he goes, and he's a he's a special player that way. It's it's uh, just some habits away from the puck, and he's really bought in. So I'm, I'm really proud of him. I mean, World Under-17 start today, you've gone three. Can you talk about juggling this lineup and, and yeah. juggling lines and pairings and things like that for three games so far? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, we've gone 11 forwards in, in 7D and, and Casey's done a great job on the back end. And, um, you know, with the 11 forwards, it, uh, you know, we got a garden and, and games right now is 10, 11. And, uh, we feel comfortable. They bring a lot of energy, and and we can bring in a, you know a top end guy to play with them. Whether it's a pro that's Spellacine, that's been Morno, and uh, we feel very comfortable with them on the ice. So uh, Martin and Outwater played extremely well here too. So we're really proud of Marty getting to the net and and uh, scoring a huge goal for us. I mean, you guys were up one nothing, and you're into the third, but it never looked like you were on your heels in any way. Yeah, yeah they had a couple, of, you know, extended ozone times, but that's that happens. And um, I thought we did an unbelievable job, first of all, on our breakouts, and secondly, when we got in trouble, that we just clogged up the net front, and and uh, they didn't have a lot of great looks. Thanks a lot, coach. No, I was just gonna ask. After you shut the note on Friday. Knowing you're playing two days later, is there any emphasis on they're going to come out strong looking for that goal or just stick to the game plan? Yeah, it was really stick to it. We worry about us, but, you know, we'll, we'll tell, you know, our guys, you know, the certain things about, about them. But, you know, obviously they're fighting it defensively, but they're – or offensively, sorry. Um, but, uh, you know, they played three and three, so – we just felt it was very, very important to get pucks in behind their D all night and, and make them turn and and uh, and defend a lot. So that's uh, and it worked out. Hi, I'm Dan Jemis, CEO of the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. When you think real estate in Windsor and Essex County, think of the Dan Jemis Team. We're here to help every step of the way. Learn more at danjemis.com. Noah, you found another. Way to win a hockey game by uh, scoring three quick goals in the third period. Just talk about the game. Um, I thought we uh, started a lot better than we have been. Um, typically, our first period's been our worst period. Just uh, not necessarily um, trailing, but kind of just taking us taking us a little bit to get into the hockey game. And today, we came out uh, really ready to go, and everybody was ready to go. And to get one in the first period as well uh, gave us a lot of confidence moving forward. Yeah, they seem to come back a little bit in the second, and then you pulled away in the third. In a tight hockey game like that, what's the message on the bench? What are you guys talking about? Um, we just knew we had to stick to what we, we've been doing and how we played in the first period. Like I said, there was no panic uh, in that second period. There's no panic at all. We, we felt like we were in control, and uh, we feel like we always have control of every game. And um, it, it's, just a, it's just a big credit to everybody in there to kind of put their head down and work and uh, keep, keep playing the way we, we were playing. Big four points against a division opponent as well. Um, just talk about the way the the season is going thus far. How how would you characterize the season at this point? 
Um, I, th- I think everybody here believes that uh, it, it's been going really well. And the, the best part about it is that there's so much more on the table and there's so much more potential that this team can bring. Um, obviously, four points this weekend um, against a team like Flint. It doesn't show up necessarily right now, but down the road, those are big games. And it's good to have those games locked up early. And um, it, it, it's just huge for us. And if we got to keep that going. You still think you guys have more to give, though? You guys think you still have your best hockey ahead of you? Absolutely. There's there's a lot more that we can give. We can um, we can be better everywhere. We can always get better. And uh, our coaches are hard, hard on us. We're hard on ourselves to always be better and not get complacent. And I think we do a great job of that. Can you can you talk about last year? How it was? You know, you had some tough nights as a team. Just the goals against and things. And just to come back this year and the nights where you, you know, you're shutting teams down and, and you feel confident shutting teams down. Like there's not going to be any sort of offensive charge from the opposition? Yeah, we, we try not to talk about last year as much as we can. Obviously, it's uh, it a tough year, but I think um, a huge part of that's been Joey, and Joey's been so good every night. We can rely on him, and um, he relies on us in front of him, and uh, we play such we, we play so hard in, in the D zone, and Joey plays so hard in the net, and uh, it's it's just it's it's a big step, and it's really happy to see that it's not all about scoring, and I think we're, we've bought in as a team a little bit more, and um, when that happens, good things happen. How satisfying is it to come off? I mean, you shut him out on Friday in there, and then you come out and you allow a goal tonight. I mean, how much more satisfying is that as a player just to walk off and say what you can do on that end? Yeah, it's great. I think it was, what, the five and a half periods we held them scoreless? So that's that's pretty good, and and they did only score one. And, and when we played that defensive zone, I don't know how many shots they had. It was under 20, but we feel if we can we get sticks in lanes, we we. we we box out, we clear pucks, we we double in the corners. Like it's, it we're so hard to play against. And if if we give up less than twenty shots, it's going to be hard to beat us. You're never too old to play in the mud. The only thing that changes are the toys. Hey, goal and assist on Liam Greentree night. How cool is that? Yeah, that was uh, that was huge. Um, you know, it was a pretty cool night for me, and you know, I have my family obviously here, and and you know, a lot of people supporting me. So that was you know, obviously really cool for me. Bobblehead look like you? Uh, well, now that I have no teeth, uh, not really. <laughs> hey, you look good on camera here. What are you talking about? Exactly, exactly. That, that's a big win for you guys again, just to continue the momentum. Um, it took Flint almost 15 minutes to get their first shot of the game. How important was that start for you guys? Yeah, that was huge for us. Um, yeah, obviously Flint is a, is a pretty good team and to, to lock them down the first like that, it kind of, kind of, you know, gets them, you know, they, they don't know what to do against us. And that's obviously what we want. And, and we played really good defensively and, um, you know, we, we, we played good offensively and, uh, you know, it obviously showed on the scoreboard. Talk about your goal tonight. Yeah, that was obviously a crazy goal. Um, you know, uh, Spellacy kind of dances a guy on the blue line and gives it to Morneau, and he kind of has a 360 pass, and it was, oh, I, I couldn't even believe it when it happened, to be honest. What's going right for you at the start of this year, both personally and as the, for the hockey Yeah, I think we have a really good team, and, and um, you know, for me, the biggest thing that I've been that I've been doing is is just focusing on my kind of little details in the D zone, and and, uh, you know, our coaches have helped me a lot with that. And I think that's translated to, you know, the score sheet. And uh, for me, it's been so huge working on my D's on that. Um, it's led to a lot of offense for me. And then, um, you know, obviously our team is so good, as you can tell. And we have a lot of things to work on. But, um, you know, you can see that we play hard and, and uh, you know, we're not afraid to get into battles. And, and uh, you know, we come out of the po- with the puck most of the time. And that's, uh, you know, that's huge for us. You're among the point leaders in the OHL, and people are now start talking about the World Junior Tournament. Are you thinking about that? Have you thought about that? Yeah, obviously, it's kind of at the back of my mind a little bit. Um, you know, wearing the the leaf on your jersey is so huge. Um, but, you know, obviously, for me, when I'm out here, all I'm thinking about is the Spitfires, and I think that's a big thing. And, um, you know, I my, my goal right now is to win a Memorial Cup with this team, and I think we can do it. Um, you know, I don't think there's a reason that we can't. Um, so honestly, that's just my goal right now. And if, you know, I get invited to World Juniors, that would obviously be super cool. But for me, it's, I'm all about the Windsor Spitfires. Can you talk about dealing with that? I mean, going from where you guys were last year to this year, we're now, you know, I think the OHL pool you had yet number one, the CHL's got yet number two, and just sort of dealing with that day in and day out and every time you hit the ice against an opposition. 
Yeah. Um, again, Noah said it, you know, we, uh, don't really like to talk about last year too much, but it was obviously a learning experience for us and how to deal with, you know, a, a losing record. And, and, um, you know, it's something that we come into this year thinking about and, um, you know, it kind of takes us to that next edge and, you know, we hate, we all hate to lose more than we love to win. I think that's huge for us because we all felt it last year and, um, you know, uh, Wally coming in on the bench this year has been huge for us and we have so much respect for him and he's really led this team. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we just got to keep it going. I mean, you had the 12 game point streak end on Friday and I'm sure that wasn't what you were hoping for. I know you like to contribute every night, but I mean, you get the win and you come back and, you know, is that what you want to do? Get right back into it and offensively? Yeah. I mean, offensive, my offensive game will come. It's more my defensive game that I'm working on. And, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's been, it's coming along and, you know, I think I played pretty good that game, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about, you know, my point streak or anything like that. I just, you know, I come out to play every night and, and win for the Windsor Spitfires.